Today we're working on a 2012 Volkswagen Passat that has an aftermarket radio. Uh, this car had a little bit of water damage and the radio will not turn on. We have good 12 volt constant power. These cars do not have a switched 12 volt power. So they use a CAN bus adapter that integrates steering wheel control and gives a 12 volt switched power source. Does that by reading the CAN bus lines and when they're active, it turns on the switched ignition signal sends that to the radio. This one is not turning on the switched ignition signal. It has good constant power and good ground. So now we're gonna check the CAN bus lines, which are these two pink cables. You have a high and low, CAN high, CAN low. We're gonna turn our key on. I'll bump up the scale here a little bit so that we have, so it's a little easier to see. But, so now our yellow line is on a 10 volt scale and our can low, the green line is on a five volt scale. We wanna see all these pids are lining up evenly. That shows we have a good clean signal, looks great. All of this data is being decoded. And in this case, our steering wheel control is getting the data, but it is not turning on the radio. So one thing that you can do when you're trying to test this out is you can go ahead and unplug this if you run into this situation just out of the uh, attempt to reset it and then after you've unplugged it for a couple minutes just go ahead and plug it back in just take your power connector here and plug it back in make sure it's firmly seated then what we can do is we can take our key and turn it to the on position and rather than recheck CAN data lines and everything else, we're just gonna grab our, our probe here to our 12 volt switched ignition. And what you know, we have power coming out of it, which means our radio should turn on now that we have switched ignition. I go ahead and plug the radio in, make sure it turns on. And so we've put the radio back in here. We're gonna go ahead and just turn the key on, make sure that we're able to get power on this. Cool, our radio power is up now and when we turn the key off, it turns off. So that's what we can check. We wanna make sure we have uh, constant power, good ground, and then with the CAN little adapter module, you wanna make sure that they have a CAN high, CAN low signal. Uh, if you have all of that present, give it a shot to reset it. Just unplug it for a few minutes, plug it back in. If that still doesn't work, you wanna replace that part. Um, but if you do plug it back in afterwards and you are able to get that switched power, uh, give it a go. So hope this helps someone.